gambling is, is a, not a part of our culture. Uh, our tipuna would never have allowed it to uh, into our society. Um, why? Because it's destructive. You know, it impacts our, our waiwa, uh, which then affects our mana uh, and our maori order um, and just our overall, overall well-being. So when we think about the things that we create, like uh, say Kapahaka, for example, uh, our mahitoi, uh, these are all the things that actually, um, you know, they enhance us and they enhance and feed, uh, feed our waiwa. In uh, Kaita Tika Teira, our tipu are actually quite smart um, and they're always looking ahead and uh, putting measures and protection uh, in place uh, to protect the well-being and the, um, of our people. Um, and they also did that within the Tiriti of Waitangi to be able to protect their rights, to be able to look after the well-being of their people. And now we're not afforded that right. Nobody asks our, our permission to put poker machines in our communities. One of the examples of traditional tikana where we see this is rahui and also if there was a dangerous area they would also use rahui to close it off as to keep their people protected. And the biggest shock of all is that you know they're telling our friends and our whanau that we're the problem when they're the problem. I suppose and the problem uh, with that is that it leads uh, into judgment uh, for our whanau which makes it hard for them to talk about. Mm -hmm. Solving gambling harm like actually starts with us and we're looking at where the mental health space has moved at this point in time and it starts with talking and for us to actually start talking about gambling harm uh, normalises uh, the harmful aspects of it which I think um, is on onus to us uh, to start having that conversation.